Hello everyone, today we're going to be going over this question 8 from the sample assessment material for further pure math. Alright, so this is from paper 2 of the sample assessment material, and it is a question about the binomial series, which is actually a topic I haven't covered before. So this question is, if you look at it, it will seem intimidating, it will seem complicated, but in actual fact it really is not. Now, this question is has the first part saying expand this in ascending powers of x up to and including the term in x cubed. So you have your binomial sequence, the 1 plus nx plus da 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 da, Satis satisfying each term as far as possible. All right, so now it's saying, write down the range of values of x for which this expansion is valid. So you'll know that the absolute value of this has to be less than 1. And then we'll figure it out from there. And show that 3 over root 0 0.9 equals root 10. Now, this is a one mark question because they're not expecting you to use your expansion for this. I know I falsely thought that that was the case, but really this is just a search manipulation question. This as well, even though it looks similar to this, it is also just a search manipulation question. See, two marks. You rationalize this using the technique to rationalize the denominators in which you set an a and b and multiply both sides by this a plus b. For example, multiply both numerator and denominator by root 10 plus 3. And then finally, hence, using your expression with a suitable value for x, obtain an approximation to five decimal places of 1 over root 10 minus 3. Now, in the end, you will not be using this form here. You'll be using this form here. And what will root 10 be? Root 10 will be this here. And this can be in this form here because you need to use your expansion. So you use your expansion to find this setting x to whatever value, and then you set this into this, and this will be equal to this. All right, so let's get part A done. Expand 3 over root 1 minus 2x. All right, so 3 over root 1 minus 2x, I can see that it's over a square root, so it's times this to the power of one negative 1 over 2. So it's 3 times 1 minus 2x to the negative 1 over 2. So it's really 3 times this expansion here. So we'll say 3 and then big brackets, because you're expanding something quite large out. And then if you recall that the formula for 1 plus x to the power of n is equal to 1 plus nx plus n n minus 1 over 2 factorial x squared plus n n minus 1 n minus 2 oh i'm going to run out of space over 3 factorial times x cubed then this should be quite easy you're just substituting in all the numbers it can be tedious but um, in the end that is what you will need to do all right, so if I'm going to get my calculator ready for this, because I know that's going to require a third of the tape that I don't want to do. It is best to use a calculator for this, like get familiar with the calculator interfa interface, because it is best to use your calculator for this when you are expanding it in the real exam. So we know that x is really, we're substituting that to negative 2x, and then n is minus 1 over 2. All right, so we have 1 plus nx, so minus 1 over 2 times minus 2x plus n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial, so that's minus 1 over 2 times minus 3 over 2 over 2 times minus 2x squared plus this monstrosity here, so it would be minus 1 over 2 times minus 3 over 2 times minus 5 over 2 over 6 times the cube of 2x. 
Now, if we want to simplify this all down, we still have the 1, and then it's negative 1 over 2 times negative 2x, so the negatives can be removed. There's two negatives that cancel out. And 1 over 2 times 2x is just x. Now, secondly, this, the negatives will also cancel out because it's negative times negative, and you get 3 over 4, and then over 2. So this 4 cancels out with 2 to make 8. So 3 over 8 times minus 2x squared. And minus 2x squared is 4x squared, positive 4x squared. And then this 8 and the 4 cancel out to leave you with 3 over 2. So it's positive 3 over 2 times x squared. So it's plus 3 over 2x squared. And the reason I'm doing it like this is just to practice the arithmetic because if you can do this fast it will actually be faster than putting in your calculator but then normally you would want to put it in your calculator but these numbers are very small and you can try and do it easily in your head so this may actually be a viable strategy all right so now you have 1 times 3 times 5 so that would be 15 over 8 and then you have a negative and a negative and a negative so it's triple negative which is equivalent to a single negative so it's minus 15 over 8, again over 6, and then times minus 2x cubed. So it's times minus 8x cubed. So I'm just going to use that handy little x cubed term from when I was writing this out. And then again, the negative signs cancel out, cancel out the a from both sides. It's 15 over 6 times x cubed, or rather 5 over 2 times x cubed. So this is positive 5 over 2 times x cubed, so it's plus 5 over 2 x cubed. Now remember, you can do this in the calculator, and you can do this in another method. But then it just depends on what the expression is, whether or not you decide to use a calculator to evaluate it or not. All right, so 3 times all of this, you just get 3 times 1 is 3, plus 3x, three plus 3 times 3 is 9, so 9 over 2 x squared plus 3 times 5 is 15, so plus 15 over 2x cubed. And then plus dot dot dot, because it is an infinite series. But then you can leave your answer at this, because they're asking up to and including this term in x cubed. All right, so now we have to write down the range of values of x for which this expansion is valid. So we know that in the normal, the normal binomial 1 plus x to the power of n, it is valid for any absolute value of x is less than 1. Now, since that we substituted minus 2x in for x, we must know that the absolute value of minus 2x must be less than 1. And since this is an absolute value and everything will be positive anyway, we can first get rid of this negative sign, and then its absolute value 2x must be less than 1. And then divide both sides by 2 just to leave that absolute value of x must be less than 1 over 2. You can give your answer in this form here, or for this kind of question, you can also do minus 1 over 2 must be less than x must be less than positive 1 over 2. Both of these work. You just, I'm fairly certain this question is just a accuracy mark, but do not quote me on that. So this, this question comes up all the time in binomial series questions, so make sure you know how to do it. All right, so C, show that. 3 over the square root of 0 0.9 is root 10. Now, again, this is simply a one mark question and it should be fairly trivial to do. You, they're not asking you to use your binomial expansion for this, no matter how much you think it looks like the series, because it does look like the series and you'll have to use that later, but they just want you to use Surd's manipulation to prove that this is equal to root 10. All right, so you have 3 over root 0 0.9 I'm going to write this 0 0.9 as a fraction. So that's 3 over root 9 over 10. Now why am I using arrows? I should be using equal signs. Okay, so 3 over root 9 over root 10, because the square root works like this when you're the square root of a fraction. It's the square root of the top over the square root of the bottom. And then since 3 and root 9 cancel out, because this is really... Um, root 9 is equivalent to 3, you get 1 over 1 over root 10, which is equal to root 10.
All right, so now let's go to part D. Express 1 over root 10 minus 3 in the form a root 10 plus b, where a and b are integers. All right, so since this is a fraction, I'm going to skip these last two lines here and just write it out, starting from here. So you have root 10 minus 3 and 1. And then I know what I'm going to do because of the difference of the square strategy. I'm going to multiply these by root 10 plus 3 because we're making use of the principle that a plus b, or rather, we're starting with a minus b, and then we make a plus b, and we multiply them together to get a squared minus b squared. And since it is just the square of a and b, and there are no a and b terms left, it will be rationalized. It, all we just need to do is multiply this on top as well. You always want to rationalize the denominator. All right, so you get this will be equal to well, a is root 10 and b is 3, so it'll be equivalent to 10 minus 9. And this top, 1 times root 10 plus 3, of course, that's just root 10 plus 3. So this is equivalent to root 10 plus 3 over 10 minus 9. And of course, 10 minus 9 is 1, so this is equal to root 10 plus 3. Now, you may be wondering why this is an acceptable answer, despite the fact that they wanted you to give it in the form a root 10 plus b. And that is because this is really 1 times root 10 plus 3. And this 1, this a, is still an integer, so it is okay to leave your answer in the form like this. Don't doubt yourself, because if you do the math correctly, the answer you get will be correct, and you'll be able to put it in the form they want. All right, so it says e. Hence, using your expansion with a suitable value for x, obtain an approximation to five decimal places of this value right here. All right, so we know that um, root 10 plus 3 is equivalent to this expression. So 1 over root 10 minus 3 is equal to root 10 plus 3. And then we learned before that 3 over root 0 0.9 is root 10. So this is 3 over root 0 0.9 plus 3. Now, we can find the estimate for 3 over root 0 0.9 by using the binomial expansion that we determined earlier. So when 1 minus 2x is equivalent to 0 0.9, x is, of course, 0 0.05. You can solve this linear equation just by adding x to both sides, taking away 0 0.9 to both sides, divided by 2, all that jazz, and you get that x is equivalent to 0 0.005. Now, we got to remember to add this plus 3 at the end because it's asking for this expression, not just root 10. All right, so... If we go back to the formula we figured out, which is right here, it's 3 plus 3x plus 9 over 2x squared plus 15 over 2x cubed. All right, so we get 1 over root 10 minus 3 equals 3 plus 3 plus. And I'm going to put this all in brackets here because this is like a separate part of the equation to this 3 that we're adding here. So it's 3 plus 3x, so x is 0 0.05, which is equivalent to 1 over 20. So we'll go fractions for a bit. So 3 times 1 over 20 plus 3 over 2 times the, Q, the square of 1 over 20, so 1 over 400. Rather, this is 9 over 2x squared. So 9 over 2 times 1 over 400. And then next you have 15 over 2 x cubed. So you have 15 over 2 here multiplied by x cubed, or 1 over 8,000. And you'll want to put this into a calculator to evaluate it. So if I pick up my calculator here, I go 3 plus 3 times 1 over 20 plus half, or this is 9 over 2, plus 4.5 times 1 over 400 
plus 7.5 times 1 over 8,000. And we get the answer 3.1621875. Now this is at seven decimal places, and if you'll recall, in the question they're asking for an approximation to five decimal places. So we get that it's equal to 3 plus 3.1621875, da, 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 because we're still adding this dot 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 here. And we want to round to five decimal places, so here. And because this is seven, of course, this becomes a nine. And we get three plus three point one six two one nine or six point one six two one nine. And that's our final answer for part E. All right, so just to recap, these two parts of the question were able to be done without any use of the binomial series at all. Do not use the binomial series when you do not have to, because it is in an incredibly time-consuming process, and of course the further pure examination is a very time-restricted activity, and you'll need all the time you can get if you want to do all the questions. Alright, so we have 6.16219 is our final answer for E, and then we're saying this is equivalent to root 10 plus 3, we're saying this is root 10, or we've just shown it like this, and then we're saying the absolute value of x must be less than 1 over 2. And we're saying that this expands to this expression here. All right, so let's go to the mark scheme and see if we got it correct. All right, so this is the mark scheme for question 8. We correctly identify that it's 1 minus 2x to the power of negative 1 over 2. And so we get this expansion here. And funnily enough, they've decided to put the trailing x cubed term on top of the factorial rather than the other one. So instead of like n, n minus 1, n minus 2 over 3 factorial x cubed, now we just have n n minus 1, n minus 2, times x cubed over 3 factorial. I thought that was pretty interesting of them. But either way, it, as long as your working is valid, they will not dispute it, and you will be able to successfully obtain the marks for these questions. So we determined that this was equal to 3 plus 3x plus 9 over 2x squared plus 15 over 2x cubed, and that is correct. And then next we determined that absolute value of x must be less than 1 over 2, so yep, I was correct in my suspicion earlier that this is solely an accuracy mark, because b just means that you need to get the answer right and no working is required. But of course, do working if you want to show that you know what you are doing. And doing working for this kind of stuff, even if it's trivial, it will help you ensure that you have the precise correct answer. All right, so the way we proved it by letting this be to the square root of 9 over 10 rather than just the decimal 0 0.9. Then of course root 9 is equivalent to 3. These cancel out and you're left with 1 over 1 over root 10 or just root 10. All right so that's correct and we rationalize the denominator here by multiplying it by root 10 plus 3 and this is equal to root 10 plus 3 over 1 or just root 10 plus 3 and Finally, 1 minus 2x is 0.9, x is 0.05. Remember to solve the equation for this here. You want to show that you solve the equation here because this is apparently worth a mark. It's worth an accuracy mark, but you just want to show that you've done it so that in case you make an error, then they can still, like, of course, they'll still be able to award you follow through marks, but it's better to be on the safe side, try not to make an error, and do the full solving of this. All right, so you get root 10 plus 3, it's 3 plus this, plus 3, and then it's this plus 3, and we get 6.16219. All right, so 11 marks. Thanks for watching.